Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today, we are gonna be looking at the third installment of my Twilight Pilots Animation Breakdown series, where we're looking at Clancy today. Now, Clancy is their most recent album that came out this past May, and this video has a couple different programs involved with Photoshop, Illustrator, and After Effects, and I'm excited to show you how they all work coherently together and really produce a pretty good final product that I was proud of. So, let's get right into it. Alrighty, before we get into the animation process, I'm going to go over some of the materials I was looking for and referencing as I was thinking about this project and where I was trying to go with it. So there was this promotional material of Tyler and Josh where they're in this cool little pose and then Tyler is holding out the stole and I thought to myself, um, maybe I could do something with the text there because um, this is Clancy just um, written in a way that doesn't look too obvious. And then I did see some materials as I'm going to show on screen of some of their posters where it's like a black and white version. And then they have some other like silhouetted, um, maybe like custom art people have done. And then I thought maybe I could um, introduce maybe like a text element where it's scrolling across um, the stole. And I thought it'd be kind of cool to implement that. And then my original concept um, was basically to have uh, either like a silhouette version, as I'm going to show right here, the like a silhouette version and then having the um, text going across. Um, but then I thought to myself, it might be a little bit hard to see the stole since that is black and then it'll be a black silhouette. And then I also thought maybe like introducing the mask, but then I cut it out and it didn't look too that great from some of the other images that I was looking at. And then I finally decided on maybe just having them same one by one by one with each other. And then there's also this black and white version that I seem to not find the original source of, but I see it all around the internet, just not one singular source of it was like custom made or was um, official material. Um, but yeah, I did pull this image and I cut it out. And then I um, basically took out the Clancy text right here. Um, this wasn't too hard. There was a little bit of an issue when it came to getting the text out um, from one that comes under his jacket right here, the vertical text. Um, that was a bit of a challenge trying to, I think I had to basically create, um, recreate a part of the stole to match it up right. Um, I think that some of the shadows um, didn't quite um, look right when I just initially took out the text. And then another element from the across, um, his chest is just the finger because that's the only thing that's interfering with the um, stole going across. So I did have to cut out his poor finger and reattach it later in After Effects, but that wasn't too difficult. And yeah, let's go on to Illustrator. So here we are in Illustrator, but first I want to give a quick shout out to Monster Designs on Twitter. He gave some great assets that I don't know how he did it so fast, but within the album came around the time the album came out, he came out some really good assets when it came to the Clancy text and then some of the Toronto Pilots uh, topography and then the logos themselves. And then also the, I believe the album art um, background with um, Tyler and Joseph, uh, Tyler and Josh cut out. Um, I'm going to show you that later, but yeah, great job by him. He helped me a lot. Um, Basically, I didn't have to recreate um, some of these assets. I think I was trying to maybe demonstrate this, but I didn't really get that far because I just um, used the ones I already made. Um, we're going to learn a little bit later that um, not having the exact text for Clancy um, right here was a little bit difficult, but um, well, what was um, provided was really great um, overall. Um, but yeah, here's some other inspiration I was looking at. This is um, that. This is right here. Um, a t-shirt I saw, um, I think one of their small venue shows where again it was like the silhouette version and then the clancy yellow text going across so then i thought maybe i could work with that a little bit more as we see that, that photoshop file that was wrong before um but yeah i did decide to just have them non-silhouetted version but yeah here we have the actual background to the animation again clancy text going around the border i just thought it looked kind of cool having the logo in the four corners and then the text in between a solid red background as we're going to layer layer on top the album art um, flames in the back. So this is just playing for now. And here was me kind of lining up the Clancy text. We're going to see um, how they're brought into After Effects and then we're, that's going to 
animate from there on. But this is just how it starts. And then you basically just push it um, from Overlord, which is my savior when it comes to getting clean vectorized assets into After Effects. So here we are in After Effects, and I'm gonna be showing some of the comps involved with this. We do have our main comp right here. No layer for moving certain objects. I believe this is for Tyler and Josh. Yep, because, you know, gotta move them sometimes. But yeah, we have Tyler's finger, and then we have some unused assets right here. We have the two text elements right here. This is all a whole different thing I'm gonna show off in a little bit. And then we have some of the assets we brought into Illustrator and then uh, a noise comp to uh, make the background a little more interesting. But yeah, let's go into the meat of this right here. And that's going to be the vertical and horizontal text. So let's start off with the horizontal text a little bit easier. Um, so we have the text laid in right here. As you can see, they're broken up into one by one because I was having a lot of problems getting the text in as one element, um, having it move um, along a path because I quickly learned that it was not working the way I wanted to where it was moving, the text was moving. If it was one block, it was moving as one piece. There was no individualized um, movement to it. The only way I could get that to work was if there were each individual asset and then once the, I think it's like a pointer or follow along path that is able to rotate along with um, a designated path, if that makes any sense. But yeah, basically I had an individual, I had to break them down um, each layer to be able to move them um, fluently along the path because Tyler stole um, bends and curves. So it would look a little weird if it didn't go along that way. And then once they were all in, I, assign them to the path, they're all moving. And then to get them to duplicate right, I had to duplicate that comp a bunch of times. And then this is how it basically flows out where, this is the base um, starting frame of where everything starts. And then each uh, comp is on its own, basically timing system, but they're all next to each other. So it looks like from the main comp that they're all flowing in um, seamlessly. But in reality, they're just moving to the end and then new ones are spawning in at the top. This was, took me forever. I tried so many different scripts to try to get um, non-text elements to move along a path in like a repeat fashion, but I just couldn't get the scripts right. I don't know if there's an actual way, but since this wasn't an actual font, it wasn't able to move um, fluently along the path as the way I wanted to. And I eventually just gave up and caved and just created a bunch of comps just to get the right effect. And from the outside, you can't really tell that I did that, but this was a lot of uh, pain right here to get them to move right. And the same thing with the vertical text where we have it going down. Um, this is the original version. Um, funny enough, um, where well, they're all going down, um, because my first version, um, I posted to Reddit, um, this was going the opposite direction and then someone pointed it out, it makes sense, more, more sense to reverse it as it goes up and then around his neck and then across. And then I thought, you know, I didn't really think that all the way through. So then I changed it. Um, and then to do that, I did a more simpler way where I had to just time stretch and then negative a hundred and that basically flips the, the text going upward instead of downward. Again, I didn't want to add any more unnecessary time. This was more or less the last few things I was doing on this project. So it wasn't that integral for me to get everything hundred percent perfect. I think that's a big uh, lesson to learn is to not stress yourself out when it comes to certain things like this, just get what works and then try to run with it. If it doesn't impact your flow too much. But yeah, this one's going up. And then as we put these back in, I made sure I made sure these elements were um, placed pretty easily along where the stalls were. I didn't do much fidgeting. And then I took the comps and then I basically masked them out, cut them out to where the exact um, points and where the, the stole end starts and goes. And this one was a little bit different because going into his jacket. But yeah, I think it works out really well right here. And it looks good and then we do have um 
some other elements. We do have the background, which is a noise comp as After Effects wants to save on me. That's nice of them. Uh, we do have a nice, like smoky, hazy, fiery comp um, that really helps out the background right here. Um, Cause we do have um, design from Monster Designs where he took out um, Teller and Josh where um, basically the flames right here. And then I put a soft light on that to play nicely with the already red background text. And then this noise comp works really well, um, bringing out some of that, just a little subtle detail I like to include. I don't like having just one element um, animation that's moving. I like having a couple of little different things, making sure they um, keep the eye interested in uh, what it's seeing. And yeah, that's the basically the basically element right there. Um, I did experiment with having the Clancy like Exinia up top, but I uh, a little bit distracting. I couldn't get it right centered because of the how it was made, and then I just ended up giving up on that. And I just thought um, I had enough elements with the border, the background, um, two main characters, and then some text. But yeah, I think overall I'm really happy with this um, project, and it only took about a day or so, which really um i expect based on um past projects it takes me a few weeks maybe depending on how much time i have but i was really just flowing with this and yeah the assets provided were really big help in uh making this uh work really fast so i hope you guys enjoyed that video like i said it's only too bad there so to complete and what really helps my workflow was the assets that already made and overall i didn't run into a lot of roadblocks when it comes to my overall vision and where i was headed with the project now we do have one more project to look at and it's called blurry face and I did lose a bit of myself trying to complete that one. A lot of different parts with that one. A lot of mistakes, uh, trials that didn't go that well. But I, I will show you guys uh, what went wrong and what went right with that project. And hopefully you guys are there to see it. So I'll see you guys in the next one. See you.